Good morning people. It is uh, actually 11. I've been awake for a couple of hours. As you can hear, my cold is getting even worse. We'll see where it will land. Uh, now I don't have any voice left hardly and I'm very snivelly. I've been spending my morning um, editing the blog, uh, vlog video and watching some YouTube's podcasts thingies. I'm trying to be better at commenting on people's videos. Um, I'm not good at that. I'm a little bit scared of people. <laughs> uh, so I'm trying to be better at it. So I'm trying to at least leave a small uh, comment. I probably could leave um, meters and meters, but uh, I'm afraid, you know. I'm a little bit afraid of talking to people. Uh, but yeah. Um, been having some computer issues. I think my um, Wi Fi card is breathing on its last something, which is kind of annoying because I can't change it. If I'm if it breaks, I need a new computer and I don't have the money for it right now, so it's kind of annoying. But yeah, it's been a very calm morning and as I've been watching videos I've been cross stitching so I'm getting closer to finishing the blue colour which is really really nice uh, the next colour I'm going into I'm already planned what colour I'm going to use and it's a beige colour and it's going to um, it's just it's not that much either so hopefully I can finish both of them today you never know it all depends on how many starts and stops I need to do but yeah, that is my morning. Good morning, people. Let's make this a good day. <laughs> so guys, it's midday. Um, I've been feeling like this day just passed me by. And then I realized uh, when I put the camera on that I did record things talking to you about an hour ago. And I've done loads of things since then. Um, I love having a laptop kind of computer. I have a MacBook Pro. Uh, the reason but for buying that was three years ago. Uh, both I wanted to use it in my job and also I wanted to learn about video editing. So I got myself a computer that I could take with me to work. But having a laptop is for me very, very good. I have a laptop, I have an iPad and I use iPhone. So everything is Mac except for my game on computer um, because you can't game on a Mac you can do a lot of things on a Mac but gaming they're not good for but um, I, I love having it because then like now when I, I'm having this really bad cold but also all the pains sitting in an office isn't office environment isn't really what I can do I'm too tired for it um, so sitting in my sofa is very comfortable and having the laptop means that I can do things like edit my videos uh, on the computer sitting here. Um, it's like I, it doesn't take that long because I'm more and more streamlining the process both of recording and uh, editing so that it takes less and less time to do. I enjoy doing it but uh, it's the end result that is the fun thing really but um so then i can sit here with my little kitty yeah she's being very very cuddly and she is shedding like crazy really don't know why but i have fur basically everywhere right now and she's kissing me she and me have have um a little thing in common we love cheese yeah I love every kind of cheese, uh, but I found that we have like ch tube cheese. Uh, I don't know really what's the composition of it, but it is, it's not like Philadelphia. It's more like um, more creamy, more more slick cheese. Um, I love tube cheese. It's a Swedish version. I don't know if it's anywhere else, um, but it's really really good, and. For me, some people say it's it's like cheap cheese. It's not nothing like that, but it doesn't have that much lac lactose in it. So I don't get tummy aches from it, which is awesome. But which also means my kitty can eat it because uh, kitties shouldn't have lactose. 
should, didn't really have cow milk in any form but the tube cheese does work pretty good and she completely adores it I don't know, uh, she's very picky when it comes to things to eat she usually wants to smell it for like 5 minutes before she decides if she's gonna eat it or not but I presented her with a little, little, little bit of cheese on my finger um, the other day and she's like sniffed it once and then started licking on it and like this is my cheese so yeah she, she we both like cheese she so I, I tend to treat her with cheese especially when when our little uh, our little our big kitty isn't there because he um we're a little bit worried that he's becoming overweight um we are feeding them in the kind of um allowed amount but as he is so many kilos bigger than her i'm a little bit worried that he would eat her food she's not thin in any way so not like that but i'm worried that he would become overweight um i want healthy kitties i want healthy kitties but then again they are both small kitties they're both kittens um they're about seven months old soon seven months months old and um, when they're ki kitty kitties, they're usually a little bit rounder um, when they haven't really grown into themselves yet. And I'm, I'm fearing what he is going to grow into because he's a, he's a baby cat that is four kilos. He weighs over four kilos at seven months. Um, and I think my last cat that I had before these two, she... Uh, didn't grow into herself until she was like two years old so yeah worrying about the size of that cat <laughs> but yeah um i'm gonna stop babbling and i'm gonna put my video on exporting because my computer just silent itself that means it's completed rendering i'm gonna finish the few stitches i have on the blue left i think it's like three stitches and then I'm gonna start my audiobook and continue with some brown stitches. So I thought I would go down and get the mail, but then he came and he's a little bit low today, I think. He, he wants to cuddle, so I'll let him cuddle. He likes to step on me. <laughs> he's very... He, he needs to do this a lot. Yeah. He's just a little baby, you know. Even though he's a very huge cat, he's just a little baby. Yeah. So I went visiting into the mailbox. Finally, my kitten has gone gone away for a little while. And I actually got a package. There's actually... I buy my electronics things from Sweden because they're not cheaper. With, with postage and everything, it's not cheaper to buy it anywhere else. And because I do get them on a very good timely delivery. This took me two days. So I got my earbuds. Um, this, I actually gonna see if I can continue having them into this little cute uh, packaging and pick them out out of that because I really don't want the kitties to eat into these ones. This is my third pair and yeah, I, I, I don't want to lose any more of them. Um, these are the, the are basically one of the few I can use. I can't use those in ear. These are like you just place them on your ear. Um, the ones that had this like plastic cup that you push into your ear, they have a tendency to build up pressure in my sinuses because I have a chronic sinus infection, um, and I get a lot of pain from it. So this is the only pair I can use. So but now I got one. And when it comes to shopping from other countries, I buy most of my threads and, and fabric and stuff from the UK. And I do this because, one, uh, I pay the UK taxes for it, I don't have to pay the Swedish taxes, so it won't get stuck in custom or anything. Um, I pay, pay all my dues. And on top of that, it's much, much cheaper than Sweden. And I still get the same delivery time. So th that's basically the three reasons why I buy all my supplies 
from outside of the country. Um, the AIDA or the um, DMC threads are almost three times as expensive in Sweden as they are in England, so it's it's a lot of money. Um, postage wise, it's actually cheaper. If I have the two to four weeks delivery time from the UK, it's actually cheaper to uh, get them from the UK, the postage cheaper from the UK than within Sweden. That is hilarious, I know. And on top of that, many of the smaller cross-stitch stores here in Sweden um, have very long delivery times, strangely enough. It could take about a week before dispatch and then another week for it to actually get delivered here, even though I pay a lot more postage. It's, it's frequently strange, but um, I've always had issues with deliveries within Sweden, while deliveries from outside they just go pretty fast um, but I do expect like like the so-and-so as I don't pay the the big postage I know that it will take two to four weeks for it to deliver it but I'm I'm content with that if I really need something very very fast I, I can put there there is a delivery option for it so. yeah. yeah and number three um, audiobooks and libraries. Um, it's a very good place to find books and audiobooks is in the library. The only issue I have is that I believe that one, books should preferably be read in their own language. But as I only know Swedish English, um, I read Swedish books in Swedish and the rest of them in English, because Swedish translations are usually not that good. Um, I have read books where I read both the Swedish version and the English version. The Swedish version when I was younger and the English version when I got older. And the English version has been leagues and leagues better, because... I don't know if... I, I don't think Swedish language is made for a certain kind of literature. It's a little bit harsher and it isn't as colourful as English. So I want my audiobooks to be in English to get the idea of what the author was written, writing. And then we have the issue that in Sweden we do mostly have them in Swedish on the libraries because it's Sweden and we should use our Swedish language. But that means that 90 to 95% is in Swedish and I would have a very slim choice of books, audiobooks, if I would and borrow them from the library while using apps like audible or storytel i can actually choose from a much larger range of books um so that is that is the reason from why i don't use libraries but use the um, the apps instead and as i said right now i'm just trying them out audible was with Audible I got a free book and if I close down my account within a month I don't have to pay anything for it. Uh, and with Storytel I also got a free book. Um, and again that there I haven't even registered so I don't even have to worry about closing it down beforehand. I just have the book I can listen to. So I do have those two and I'm still debating which one. Um, there might be that I actually buy two books through Audible to get the rest of the series uh, of the Enclave and then close it down um, and then continue with Storytel and see which books I can find through that because it will be a bit more expensive to have Audible especially if I uh, go through books the way I've done so far with audiobooks that I listen to to it four to five hours a day you go through a book in two three days so yeah, yeah. I'm not getting much cross stitching today either done um, I'm doing all the other things like register for my health pay benefits because I'm sick looking at Facebook YouTube things like that. But uh, I'm gonna sit down. Started with a new colour, so hopefully that will go well. 
Well guys, it's evening and I'm gonna head to bed. Um, I have hardly got anything done on my owl today. Um, I feel a bit sicker so everything is going extremely slow. I'm trying try to sleep a lot because yeah body's not with me but um this is the little owl i've done the um these stitches um might have done some blue i don't know might have done a few blue yeah just a few but yeah um but i've noticed one thing there is not enough material for that color in the kit now i'm a very um I'm very good at being very careful with my thread. Uh, for example, we can actually take the sample of the other other color. Uh, here is my like 738, and I got all this left, and there's no stitches left for that. Uh, the 452, I got all of these oh threads, not stitches, threads left, and I have no stitches to do with that. Um, this is the 775, I've got all that thread. And the 739, which I'm doing right now, I have this left. And there's a lot of stitches left. Now, I just... I'm just gonna use my own DMC 738 to fill it out, so it's, it's no problem, but... Get a little bit shoved. Um have really I'm um, I'm good at keeping taking care of my threads and it's I'm running out of it and it's a bit strange but uh we'll see how many more lengths I need um there's not as many stitches left as I have already done but it's going to be down to the wire but I do as I said I have the DMC in my stash so I don't have to worry about waiting for it to come or something like that but I'm heading to bed because this day is not getting any more fun. Gosh, I'm longing to get back into my craft room. Yeah, but that will happen someday. Right now, I need to sleep. So, good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Bye.